Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this is going to be a haul. Um, yeah, first off, I dyed my hair. It's like a red purple color. I really liked how it looked. Um, I didn't like my other color. I was kind of bored with it and I decided to dye it. So first of all, let's start. I got some cold shoes. Get them out of the box, and they're really, really nice. Black with silver detail on the side and the coach right here. Really nice. Really like them. Um, next, I was on the. I was waiting for the Nordstrom anniversary sale because I had seen. They were going to come out with a new NARS palette, uh, of course, limited edition, and I had to stock the website, and I got it. <clears throat> as soon as it went on, I put it on my cart. It was literally sold out within minutes. I couldn't believe how fast it went, but I'm so happy I was able to get it. This is what it looks like. This is uh, Albatross or something like that. Laguna... Um, Gaiety, Orgasm, Angelica, I think this was, and Luster. Lustre or Luster? However. Um, I really, really, really am in love with the palette. Um, I was so excited to pick it up. Ugh. I can't say enough about it. I will do a review and swatches on my blog. So if you don't follow my blog, make sure you follow the link in the bottom so you can see swatches and more in-depth uh, review of it. And my blog is makeupbymicella.blogspot.com. Um, next, I picked up some Ur an Urban Decay Urban Defense Tinted Moisturizer in the color Halo. Wow. There we go. And it's just a tinted moisturizer. Uh, what I could say about it is that I really, really love it. It's what I use every day um, for my face. I don't really wear foundation anymore. Even though summer's almost over. I mean, I guess I just really, really like it. Um, I got a Benefit What's Up Soft Focus Highlight Highlighter for the face. For face. And... <clears throat> and I did a swatch right here this one in the middle it's really pretty when it catches the light and this is what it looks like you twist it up and at the bottom it has like a little sponge applicator and this is what you use to blend it out I really really like it it gives you such a nice um, shine not like oily shiny just a pretty shine um i picked up some brushes i got the elf powder brush which i don't know what i was doing without because this is seriously an awesome brush it's so so soft and it just applies my powder like butter really really nice i freaking love it so i definitely recommend this this is only three dollars um this is the most inexpensive, best working brush I own. I love it. Then I also got another brush, and this is for the eyes. This is a, a smudge brush, which looks like this. Um, it's not scratchy. It was like a dollar something. Um, I really like it. It's from the um, the Target. Um, not Target brand, but the inexpensive brand they have for uh, brushes, so I really like it. Um, then I got a Milani Bake Blush in the color Berry Amor. Amore Mio. <laughs> Just kidding, it's Berry Amor. And it's a, wow, if I could open it. It's a really pretty color. Looks like this. Although I would rather they not include the mirror and the brush, because really unnecessary I'd rather they include more product in the blush but anyways it's a really pretty color and I have a swatch right here looks kind of orangey but it's more pinky it's actually what I'm wearing on my cheeks 
And actually, compared to one of the colors in my NARS palette, which I was really surprised. Um, then I got the Maybelline Age Rewind Erased Eraser, Dark Circles. <clears throat> and along with the uh, Urban Decay Tinted Moisturizer, I use this on a daily basis. I just apply this under here, a little bit here, and on top of my nose. And apply my powder over and I'm set for the day. My foundation stays on, feels so good, so light, like I'm not wearing anything, which is what I love. Then I got some lip products. I got the Revlon Color Burst Lip Gloss in Strawberry Phrase. It's a really pretty, like, reddish pink color. I really like it. And I got a Wet n Wild Lipstick in 900B. And I'll swatch it for you. It's right here. It's kind of like a peachy nude. It looks good only when you work with it and make it look good. Because it won't look good on all skin types. It barely looks good on my skin. Barely. And then I got this gloss, which I will also do a swatch of. It's this one right up there. And it kind of looks funny, but it looks really nice on the lips. It's the Lay Gloss by L'Oreal in 151 Baby Blossom. And it's like a pinky, peachy color. It's really nice. Um, what else? Oh, I got some nail polishes. I got two by Milani. One in Disco Lights, which is a silvery pink with gl glitter, a glitter, silver pink. And then I got a red one, which is in the color 21 Rapid Cherry. And I really like this one on my toes, which is actually what I'm wearing. And excuse my ugly nails, this one broke trying to get the dog from getting out of the house. Ugh, anyways, then I got some Revlon colors. Revlon color stay in 040 Province, which is a pretty lilac y color. My cousin really likes this color. <laughs> um, then I got a Revlon from the regular brand, regular line 705 Gray Suede. And it's a pretty, it doesn't look gray to me, it looks like more like a taupe. Um, but that's the name Gray Suede. It's really pretty though. <clears throat> then I got an Orly polish in the color coffee break and it's kind of like a dark brown mixed with gray and taupe <laughs> all together um i've been really buying nail polish like it's my job seriously i know i need to stop it's just like with makeup i buy makeup like it's nobody's business and Anyways, I got a China Glaze color in Pool Party. Again, I'm showing you the name and it doesn't even zoom in. It's really pretty neon hot pink color. I really like this. Although I think it's like a, it's matte because it dries matte on my nails. So I'm guessing it's matte. So you have to do like one coat when you're applying it is fine. Once it dries, you see it's sheer and you probably need another coat for an intenser look. Then I got one that I'm kind of disappointed in. It's this Turquoise and Caicos by Essie. It's a really, really gorgeous mint color, but you have to apply three, four, maybe even five coats to get a nice even coat. I don't know if I'm applying it wrong, but it wasn't only with me. My cousin had to apply more than three coats as well. Um, and I got this. I regret it now getting it over China Glazes for Audrey because someone said this one was a really good dupe. So I decided to pick it up. I don't know why I listened to the person. But to me it sucked. The color is gorgeous and if I just stare at it I can tell you it's a beautiful color. But it sucks. And actually what I don't get is why it sucks is because I own another Essie color. Which is pe Peach Dye Query, Day Query, Dye Query. And this is so intense. I probably just need like one, maybe two coats if I want like super, super 
color. I was wearing it on my nails and it was seriously, seriously pigmented and like seriously one coat was enough and this I have to do three, four, maybe even five. I don't think so. Then I got an Art Deco polish color thing in black. Sorry I'm in a hurry. I filmed this video and it took forever. Um, and I just got it because I've really been into my nails. I've been wanting to try that water marble thing. It just really hasn't worked out so I don't even want to talk about it. I was so frustrated. Um, I keep trying and trying. I'm trying to find the right colors, buying different brands so I can know which ones work and which ones don't. But seriously, it's a hassle. Um, I got a dry shampoo from Got To Be. Rocking it. Looks like this. Uh, I wanted a dry shampoo because my I did when I did my hair red. Um, I wash my hair every day, and washing my hair every day was making my hair bleed like crazy and with this heat I've been getting in the pool so much um, it doesn't bleed in the pool it bleeds in the shower um, so I was like I cannot wash my hair every single day because the color is gonna go like super quick which I already feel like I'm I can see my brown in it um, since I've washed my hair so much so I got this I tried it and it works really good it gives my hair volume which I didn't expect I uh, would be getting volume with a dry shampoo, but I really, really like it. Um, and I guess it's just for that day I don't wash my hair because I, I just, my, I have not like an oily scalp or something, oily hair, and that is why I wash my hair every single day. Next, I got the Redken Real Control Thermal Resist, and this is for inner hair repair, dense, dry, and sensitized hair. And you can pick this up at Ulta. Um, I really like this stuff. I apply it like probably from about right here, my head, down, all my hair. Especially on my tips. I try to focus it on my tips. Because I dyed it, uh, I cut it and I dyed it. So when I cut it, like I chopped off all the blonde because my hair was seriously past my bra strap not my bra strap like my bra past my bra it was almost hitting my waist my hair was really long and I freaking I loved it I've always wanted to have long hair but it was so so damaged and burned I cut all the burn off like seriously it was like probably like a big chunk and it was all my blonde like my the bottom of my hair was blonde so um when I dyed it I felt like it was dry again and really didn't feel healthy so when I started using this I would apply it and now my hair feels so so soft and um, I really like it so I definitely think this works and then I got not your mother's mist freeze freezing hairspray that was a mouthful um, infused with kiwi fruit and watermelon that's what it looks like I don't know where the cap is um, but it does smell like kiwi and kiwi and watermelon. Like I walked into my mom's room and she's like, I was like, my, this hairspray smells like kiwi and watermelon. She's like, that's exactly what I smell on your hair. I was like, oh, so it does smell good. Cause I couldn't get this scent, but I guess everybody else could, which I am really happy. Um, this hairspray works really good. I unlike others it weigh the other hairsprays weigh my hair down especially if i'm trying to tease my hair um the one i was using uh would weigh my hair down and the tease would just look dumb <laughs> like flat and with no volume and stuff and that's why i never would never tease my hair um i tried it with this and it does not do that it works really good actually feel like it gives me more volume and more poofness <laughs> so yeah that's pretty much all I bought it's a collective haul I didn't buy it all together wouldn't go crazy like that um but anyways I hope you guys were happy with the contest and if you didn't win please don't be a sore loser there will be more uh, I mean giveaways and contests coming up also follow my Facebook page um 
I will have a giveaway giveaway there soon and on Twitter. If you would like to see swatches of any of this stuff, I will put the link to my blog in the bottom bar because I will um, be working on my blog again. And I wrote down your requests already. A few people left me some requests. I will work on those. If you have any more requests, please put them in the uh, bottom bar. I will do them. Uh, what's coming up is my purse collection. I know so many people asked for my purse collection, so I will definitely do that. Um, what else? I have a upcoming tutorials. I promise I will be doing tutorials again. It was I was just trying to get everything together and back to where I get good lighting and stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for supporting my channel. All like always, uh, leaving me lovely comments and I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. So yeah, um, I will see you all in my next video.